I'm back, y'all. I'm back. I am back. I know y'all miss me. Did y'all miss me? Well, you know, I had to make some other changes. Give me a new board and a whole lot of other things. Take a little slight vacation and some more education. And trying to work on starting the other channel. So remember to subscribe. Press, press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend. I wanted to do a more in depth step four rep, rep of how to do the inventory of step four. So, you know, let's get this thing started. To thy own self be true, the circle and the triangle, unity, service, and recovery. I am back, everybody. So, you know, I wanted to break this down real quick and thorough. Um, yeah, and our Rams tuck it, baby. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Boy, I be looking like I be waiting a long time for my team to, like, you know, to come on through, but I'm going to keep on rooting, rooting for them. Uh, oh, I got this on the wrong one. All right, step four. It basically is talking about uh, the fourth step, having some courage. Some people say, you know, that's the principal word. But I wanted the longer word so we, can, so we can break down all of the columns. And I had a sheet of paper. So remember, if this is your first time to the show, uh, in the early videos, I showed stuff like, you know, alcoholism, stuff about the city side break. So, you know, and, and this is pretty much something I kept as a copy of in my early recovery. And I also did during the holidays, and I had a chance to find the two books that I was writing from in my journal uh -oh, for six months from 1998. So I had 22 years of recovery. Let's get this thing started, everybody. All right, May is searching in theory, moral inventory of himself. So when you get to that part, it speaks about let's make that list. So on page 64 of the textbook of Alcoholics Anonymous, that's at every Alcoholics Anonymous meeting in our Open Anonymous meeting. Resentment is the number one offender. It destroys more crackaholic alcoholics than anything else. From its stems, all forms of spiritual disease, dis-ease, see, that's resentment. Resentment is dis-ease. For we have not only been mentally and physically ill, we have been spiritually sick. Gut it up. Just gut it up all rotten, emotionally, spiritually sick. And it say, when the spiritual malady is overcome. We straighten out mentally and physically in dealing with resentment. We sit them on paper. So we're going to use this as my paper. We list people, institution, principles with whom we were angry. You know, angry. We asked ourselves why we were angry. In, in, in most cases, we found that our self-esteem, our pocketbook, our ambition of ideas on how do do you know I'm a, have a solutions to things and for your solutions too in our personal relationship or our personal relationship, including sex. We were hurt and threatened, so we were sore, sore as heck, sore as heck. We were burned up. On our graduate, we seek opposite of each name, injury, with whom our self-esteem, our security, our ambition, our personal relationship, we have been interfered with, where we have been interfered with. Do, do you know, during probably the course of my drinking or when I wasn't drinking, thinking about getting drank or hit or crack or cut the cake, or do, do, do you know, my compulsive Mr. Debit cards or whatever I was going through when I wasn't even drinking or when you wasn't even drinking. Think about it. When you wasn't even drinking, was you over? So we need to ask ourselves. This is the MC Recovery Wellness Relapse Show, and this is how I had many of re relapse. So it has it like this. So I listed on the paper. I had to 
say in the book. And we re resent, so we make that list. And on my list of what I'm resentful at, and I think at that time I had like maybe 98 resentments or something, something in that category. 98 something of that resentments. I know some people that had 200, 150, all kind of resentments, all kind of jobs, employment situations, principles. So, so, so I just want to make this basic for you, for everyone to see that you know. Mom, dad, God, McDonald's. McDonald's when I worked there when I was 16 years old. And I got fired. Woo. Uh, my first girlfriend, Washington High, Machinist College. So let's look at the list. So you just put all the stuff here, whether it's colleges, employment, family, friends, cousins, nieces, uh, uh, just everything. Just just make this list. And that's the first part of allowing things that was, see what I felt when I was doing the inventory, I started to get a sense of some of the stuff that's spilling out of me right with that ink pen right on that, right in those tablets and papers and things I had. So what was the resentment? I, I, let me try to keep this here. I hated the time. I I got punished when I didn't do do something that that my siblings did, that my siblings did. I really hate. Have that ever happened to you? Haven't anyone like now? Huh? Don't that seem crazy? <laughs> Let me get a. I hated that time. And like that, I would like to say, Ooh. <laughs> I don't even know who did it. So we all on punch. And that's the cause. And here's another one. Well, 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 I didn't put one for my dad. I'm trying to keep it short. God. And then with God, I dislike that. The fact of people telling me to go to Jesus. To to get, to get the uh, answers from God are, you know, my question is that. That's what I meant to, uh, that's basically what I wrote. I hated to go to Jesus to get answers to my question from uh, God. See, because Jesus might take his time. People couldn't explain certain things to me. So, thus, I'm holding another review. I'm shoot, I'm seeing that this God is doing a lot of things for other people. And 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 then maybe I'm on short notice because you know Jesus is not delivering my message the way I want him to deliver. Don't that sound way Jesus was in the fourth column? <laughs> notice, but I only have three columns right here. McDonald's. And then I think it's wrong to fire a 16-year-old kid with no reason. Give me a reason. My first girlfriend. I think it's wrong for my girlfriend to have sex with with my little brother. What? <laughs> Machinist. I I oh machinist college. I was upset that I couldn't find a job. And when the school found me a job, it was too far. Now, with all of this, then probably another week. I was carrying my inventory everywhere with me. Everywhere. I was carrying my inventory like, you know, to uh AA meetings on on the bus, uh, to my commitments. And and and, and I think I only left it at AA Alano Club one time and I uh, look, look, I I was drained and I still took the energy to go back and get that book. So Everything I just read right here was my resentment and the causes. Let's see what did it affect. What did it affect? It affect with the situation. 
with my mom. Word. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. I want to hear some cheer. With my mom. And third count, it affected, it, it made me upset and sad as if I'm not married in this family. So, you know, that, that affected my self-esteem, my self-worth, like, wow, a whole lot of other stuff. So when you have that piece of paper, you can just let it all spill, on, spill out on that ink. So, so that ink is like that. Feeling the spiritual, in so many words, spiritual, spiritual liquid, toxic liquid that, you know, that, that I've been just carrying around. And I'm having the opportunity to write it all down and spill it on paper and, 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 and get a new view, like a new view review. Come and play with you. Uh-oh, y'all kind of like <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. Well, you know, and then with God, it confused. Oh, I should have said it. It 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 confused to trust that Jesus delivered my question. So it affected my security because I felt real confused. Like, man, I gotta go to Jesus. And and, and, it, and it seemed like when I was asking Jesus. I was already thinking about with with this chaotic way or this adolescent way of thinking that I had. I was already like, man, I got to go to Jesus now. I'm already worried, worried about what my answer is going to be from God. So, in the back of my spirit, back down. Now, you know, you was up here, first, first, first job. I'm sometimes working with my dad, but I think if I do this, I get a lot more. So right here, that experience of how it affected me when I got five was had me look differently at race and prejudice. Because I'm saying, oh, uh, you know, because you like 16, uh, I think I got let go, and he just don't want me to uh, know that. He don't want to really look at me because he know I'm looking at him thinking he has something to do with being present. And my first girlfriend. All right. It allowed me to be like, you know, scared on the next thing. A relationship. On guard. That's what. On guard the next thing. So it affected my security. And last but not least, the machinist cop. Right here, I was upset that I couldn't find a job, right? So that was the cause, and I felt useless that I did not have a plan. So, like I said er earlier, remember to subscribe, tell your friends, and Got there. See you until next time. Enjoy this video. Share this video. And uh, wow. Keep coming back. Remember, go out there to any fellowship. Look online for whatever you're looking for. Debit Anonymous meeting, uh, Alcoholics Anonymous meeting, Credit Anonymous meeting, Over Overeaters Anonymous meeting. Uh, uh, food addicts anonymous meetings, all sorts of meetings is everywhere. Uh, uh, and pick up a sponsor. So I have 12 and 12 and stuff like that. And with that, I'm going to keep coming back until next time. I got the bad time. Keep coming back to Unity Service and Recovery. In the start, the, uh, the, uh, the other show, the commentary show.
So keep coming back. Be on the alert. You'll be on another channel. So hopefully on this channel, I'll put it at the bottom of the thumbnail so people can go over there and check out the controversy over there with the commentary. And with that, I'd like to thank y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Until next time, keep coming back. Stay. Get your fellowship on. And uh, see you in the next tape.